Well, here's the initial 11 for Benfica. 4-4-2, but not necessarily a conventional one. Yeah, more likely to be a 4-4-1-1, Derek, and that second striker given the freedom to roam anywhere he wants on the pitch. Bruma. Veering in field here. Dani Rodriguez. And well, they keep the ball moving. Wonderful chance. In position to give them the lead, maybe. And at the second time of asking, it's a goal. The keeper, meanwhile, looks to the heavens. Well, here's the replay. The keeper's made a save, but it's not good enough. It's back into play. But he was first to react, and it's in the back of the net. A chance to revisit the goal. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Well, here's the replay. How early does the keeper go? The wrong way. It looks a simple penalty, but it's the deception, his body shape, that does all the damage for me. Now can they counter clinically? Benfica couldn't keep the ball. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, there's all types of goals. Spectacular headers, overhead kicks. This is a simple one, but it still adds up to a goal on the score sheet. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. And so that is going to be that, the final whistle here. And they're in a pretty comfortable position because not only have they booked a place in the knockout stages, it's still very much on for them to finish top of the group league. Yeah, absolutely. Going through takes the pressure off a little bit. But the big teams, the good teams, the good players, Press on, finish top. And as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positively. Well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad and a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is.